Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Parthi Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is what you need to know before going into trade for 24th of September 2021. In the international market, U.S. debt markets shocked everyone yesterday after Wednesday's muted response on FOMC meeting. On Wednesday, FOMC said. If progress continues broadly as expected, the committee judges that a moderation in the pace of asset purchases may be warranted. Market expects several stop losses were triggered and sell-offs became intense. US 10-year closed 9 basis points up at 141 percentage points on 30-year, 8 basis points up at 192 percentage points on Thursday. Please note that the US 10-year yields have jumped over 140 percentage points for the first time since July 2021 in another notable move norges bank norway's central bank becomes the first g10 central banks to increase rates post pandemic after cutting rates three times in 2020 due to pandemic norway's central bank unanimously decided to increase rates from 0.25 from 0 percentage points to 0.25 percentage points In the crude oil market, crude is trading at seventy-seven point forty-five dollars per barrel. Short-term range now has shifted from seventy-five to eighty dollars. Crude is growing to cross eighty dollars per barrel very soon, and this could be a where this could bring a lot of issues with emerging market countries like India. In the currency market, dollar index uh, tried to find its place at ninety-three, trading at ninety-three point zero nine. Today's range for DXY ninety-two eighty-nine to ninety-three thirty-one. USD CN via Chinese yuan is at 646. USD INR with a high of 7385 closed at 7374. Please note that 7385 resistance has been tested twice intraday in the past two days, so keep an eye on this. Will be broken soon. Support at 7365 and resistance at 7405 does exist in the domestic market. Most government bond prices fell to yesterday after the result of the RBI's G7 fourth tranche auction showed that RBI bought smaller than expected amounts of liquid paper that too at disappointing cut-off prices. Prices fell as traders who had stocked up on these bonds hoping that the central bank would shell out high prices decided to offload them in the secondary market instead. 610 2031 cut-off came at 9975 or 613 yield and accepted only rupees 2332 crores lower than expectation 664 2035 cutoff was at 9979 or 666 yield and accepted rupees 4894 crores pretty much okay as per the expectation is concerned traders offloaded 610 2031 in the secondary market but held on to 664 2035 as the cutoff was good and expected accepted a larger amount also after market hours for the remaining 15000 crore ot under gsep 2.0 has been announced which was the last tranche of for july to september quarter 726 2029 610 2031 664 are included hence 610 and 664 prices will again be supported There will not be any deterioration in the sentiment, and traders will buy any dip for July September's last tranche on 30th September. 563 2026 closed at 558 versus 559 the previous trading day. 664 2035 closed at 664 versus 664 the previous trading day. As far as the trading strategy is concerned, 610 2031 is now at 6 614. We are neutral on 610 2031 with one to two basis points movements on either direction. Yesterday's U.S. market sell-off and crude at 77 may spoil the sentiment, but no major worries. Auction will go smooth, and you can buy today's dip, if any. Trading range for six ten two thousand thirty one would be six twelve to six seventeen. That's it for today. See you next week with the new episode of Night Snippets.